Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Sir, I am having a question. This question is being framed by my professor. I am a student of first year computer science and my sir is teaching me physics. His name is Rajiv Bhatt and I am from NG Acharya DK Marathe College, Chembu. He is convinced by all the, I mean to say, what, what misconceptions regarding Islam was there. He has accepted that it is a misconception. So he is not only convinced by his last point, that is ruthlessly killing of a goat during Bakrid. If you heard your question correctly, your professor wants to know that can we have non-veg from the Hindu scripture? That's your question? I mean to say the ruthless killing of a goat. The ruthless he killing? He believes that you are killing a goat directly from the, slowly, slowly from the, from the neck. Brother asked the question, why ruthlessly killing? He agrees with killing of the goat, but why ruthless killing is his question? Yeah. Fine. So he's convinced that you can have non-veg, but he's asking why do the Muslims, they torture the animal before killing? Yeah. Just one jhatka, fatak, the animal dies. Why this zabiha? Yeah. Slowly torturing. There was a discussion, a similar discussion going on between a Sikh and a Muslim. And the Sikh raised the same question. You Muslims, you all are merciless. You are ruthless. You all kill the animal slowly and torture the animal to death. We seek one jatka fatak and the animal dies. So the Muslim replied, No, we Muslims, we are martka bacha, we attack from the front, we are masho. You seek, you all are coward. You are buzzil, you attack from behind. Anyway, this is not the real reason why we Muslims do zabiha. This was his wisdom, his ikma. This is not the real reason why we Muslims do zabiha. The reason we Muslims do zabiha, that the Islamic slaughtering is, when we do zabiha, we cut the throat and the vessels of the neck and the windpipe without damaging the spinal cord. Because if the spinal cord is damaged, then there'll be cardiac arrest and the nerve going to the heart will be severed and the blood will immediately stagnate. Now, when we cut the throat and the windpipe, and the vessels of the neck without damaging spinal cord, the heart is yet pumping. And majority of the blood, it flows out of the body. Today, science tells us that blood is a very good media of germs and bacteria. So we Muslims, we are hygienic. We want to let the blood flow out of the body. When the blood flows out of the body, even the toxins and the germs and the bacteria that contain in the blood flows out of the body, there are less chances of having diseases when we have that meat. Furthermore, when we cut the throat and the windpipe and the vessels of the neck, the nerve which is responsible for feeling of the pain going to the brain is also severed. So the animal does not feel pain. The animal kicks and rithers. It is due to the gush of the flow of the blood outside the body. The kicking and rithering is not due to pain. It is due to the muscle contraction and relaxation. So the animal dies a peaceful death. In the method of stunning, very often the animal dies a painful death after us. So the Islamic method of slaughtering is far more humane. And furthermore, if you slaughter the animal by the Islamic Zabiya method, the mutton and the meat remains fresh for a longer time because it does not have blood. Hope that answers the question.